routine shouldn't be a sore subject when it comes to muscle aches post-workout. How do you know what's normal and what's not? Here to tell us, please welcome Dr. Theodore Scheibet, Assistant Professor of Orthopedic Surgery over at Baylor College of Medicine. Doctor, good morning to you. Oh, good morning. Um, so talk to us about muscle soreness and really recognizing what it is, because if you have a hard workout, it's very likely the next day you're going to be sore. Yeah, so there's a couple different uh, classifications of muscle soreness. So one is acute muscle soreness, which is you work out really hard and you feel it right away, but usually that goes away fairly quickly within mm -hmm. hours. So the muscle soreness that most people tend to experience that's much more debilitating is called delayed onset muscle soreness. And that happens uh, one to three days afterwards. So you have a really hard workout or you do a workout you haven't done before and then two days later you feel like your muscles are concrete and you can't move. Yeah. Does soreness mean basically that your, your body or your muscles are repairing itself or um, could it mean something much more dangerous? Yeah, so scientists are still trying to figure out exactly what causes the pain, but we think it's a response to, uh, to workouts that cause some actual uh, micro tears or microscopic mm -hmm. damage within the muscles. And then your body is, is mobilizing, sort of uh, trying to heal and, and right. actually build those muscles back. And as they, um, that's why you get stronger actually, as you, you, know, you go and do a really hard workout, like lift weights, and then over time your muscles get bigger because your body's responding to that stress by repairing that damage and healing those muscles. So soreness, if you do a really strenuous workout and yeah. you're sore uh, a couple days later, but then it goes away and then most of the time actually you, you get um, the benefit of that workout so you can actually you do the it. same yeah you mm -hmm. can do the same workout in the future and not get so sore that's that's good training if you have soreness that really lasts for a long time or beyond 96 hours or gets worse with more exercise that's probably a bad sign you know doctor is there anything that um, we can we can eat to take care of ourselves and to handle these uh, muscle aches and pains and, and really the soreness like kiwi or watermelon yeah everybody's water. looking for that magic yeah. ingredient to their diet that just eliminates soreness altogether um, there have been some studies looking at different uh, foods that contain a lot of antioxidants like tart cherry juice was one or um, turmeric now, but there's no, no magic cure. Really training intelligently is probably the, the uh, and having a balanced diet, those types of things, proper rest, just a good training program overall is probably the best way to, to avoid it. You know, second and third day, let's say it's just out of control. You're getting, you know, cramps in your, in your calves and all over your muscles. Are there any sort of painkillers that are okay to take? Yeah, it's okay to use uh, painkillers every now and then, especially if you really just overdid it and you're sore and you yeah. need to get up and go to work or something like that. Um, the um, anti-inflammatories, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, Aleve, et cetera, um, are fine to take every now and then if you need to. Um, we do have a little bit of concern where um, sometimes we'll see athletes who are training so hard for a goal event yeah. like the marathon and they're actually taking these medications to get through their workouts and that's a bad sign then you're masking things and if you take those medications in high doses for really long periods of time that blunting that inflammatory response which is actually your body's attempt to heal itself may actually be slowing down your your ability to heal or recover from injury and i'm assuming doc we gotta let you go but but i want to get this in there is rest is also really important yes, it's okay right. now as we hit the gym that fifth yeah. day actually it's it's during those rest periods after exercise when your body's healing the damage from the activities right. your muscles are actually getting bigger and growing stronger so that rest is really key very nice all right doctor thanks so much for putting it into perspective for us we appreciate it oh, thanks for having me on